to a dear friend who wrote in and asked for prayer. And so, you know, it's on my heart, and, and I shared a scripture with her that I want to share with you. You know, God is speaking to us about prayer right now. We need to be reminded of the power of prayer, um, and we need to be reminded not to give up. I'm going to read to you a scripture to encourage you in your prayer life, because, you know, we know these things, you know, when we've read the Bible. If you haven't read your Bible, you need to read the Bible all the way through, okay? And uh, then when you're done, you can just do what Amber does. Start over. Read it again. Or you can go on a fancy Bible reading plan, whatever works for you. But be sure that you're reading it. But when you read it, it's different. It looks different than when you are um, living it out. Okay? So what we need encouragement in is as we're living it out, we need to be reminded of the scriptures that describe what we're going through. And then say, oh, yeah, that's right. That is what this would look like in real life. Luke 18, 1 through 8. It says, Then Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they should always pray and not give up. He said, In a certain town there was a judge who neither feared God nor cared about men. And there was a widow in that town who kept coming to him with a plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused. But finally, he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care about men, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. And the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly, however, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth? Understand, Jesus is telling you, you've got to keep on asking. And some of you, maybe you've been praying for something for a long time. Maybe you've been praying for deliverance from a sin. He's talking about justice. Understand that Jesus is going to deliver you. He's your deliverer. When we're kept in bondage to sin, he comes to break the chains of bondage, to break us out of prison. He comes to... Uh, do that in all areas of our lives, physically, spiritually. That's his anointing. He's encouraging us here, and I want to encourage you in the fact that this isn't instant pudding, okay? Sometimes you pray to God, and God just gives, gives you your request immediately, and it's wonderful when he does that. But Jesus is telling you right here, it's not always going to be that way. Sometimes you have to keep knocking and keep knocking and going every day with your request. Give me justice. Give me justice, Lord. Come and deliver me. Help me. And why does that take faith? Think about it, you guys. Because it's easy uh, to lose faith and to get disillusioned and to imagine that God doesn't care about you if you are going every day and you're not getting you know, what you're requesting. But Jesus is telling you ahead of time that this is often what it's like. You have to keep asking and don't stop. You have to continue to pray and don't stop. Why? Because God wants you to have faith. And you only have to have faith in that critical period of time when you're waiting and you haven't received what you're asking for. Okay? So if you're in that period of time, that's the period of time we hate, right? We don't want to be there. We want to skip to the end. But it's that period of time when the real work is done in your soul that's going to enable you to be even more powerful in your prayers in the future because if you can trust God when you can't see the answer, you still trust God is good. I mean, this was an unjust judge. And Jesus is saying, even he would give her what she wants. Of course God is going to give you his own child whom he gave his own son for. Of course he's going to give you what you're requesting. He loves you. He's good. So if you can have faith in those moments, Okay, in that waiting time when it doesn't seem like anything's happening. If you can trust that God is good in that moment and that God does hear you, that your prayers feel like they're hitting the ceiling, but they're not. They're going straight through to the throne room. If you have faith in that and you keep saying that in the face of, of what you seem to see, which is the opposite, then you're going to be like David and Goliath. You're going to be looking at that thing in the face that it doesn't seem is going to move. And you're going to say, you come to me with the power of your, your horses and your chariots and your swords. But I come to you in the name of the Lord, my God. You can speak to that thing and know that God is going to move that mountain for you. And he's going to do it, not because you know the magical incantation, but because you continue to have enough faith in his goodness to just keep asking and don't give up.
Okay, so I want to encourage you, if you've been discouraged in your life for whatever reason, keep praying and don't give up. God is going to show up and it is going to be a glorious thing when he gives you what you're asking for. You will know that the Lord has moved on your behalf.